Thank you, so kind. Nice. What was it like running on that blue line? It was incredible. It's a totally new experience. It's the first short race I've run in my life. First on a, on a stadium oval. The track was great. I felt good. The crowd was tremendously supportive. It's just been a, a tremendous experience to be here at the blue oval and, and run that race and uh, give some hope to other people with Parkinson's that they can fight back and, and, and win their battles. You can't cure it. You can't stop it. Sure, give it a setback if you keep at it. You gotta go at it every day. Parkinson's never takes a day off, so you can't either. A little out of breath, and I'm loving it. How therapeutic is running for you? It is incredibly therapeutic, not only because movement is so important. Parkinson's is generally known as a movement disorder, but I've been blessed to be able to move well. God gave me some potential to do this, and the only way to honor that potential is to go out and do it and do it the best you can. So if that's a uh, some help to those who are struggling with their fight with Parkinson's or whatever your challenge just may be physically. Get up and do the best you can. It doesn't matter time. Of course, I always take my time, but it doesn't really matter. It's going out and com comparing it to the best you can do that day, and that's what I tried to do today. You mentioned that um, you know Parkinson's doesn't take a day off, so you don't either. Does that kind of drive you a little bit? That that maybe that uh, that mindset. I think it really does. I, I started working out at a gym called Rock Steady Boxing. 12 years ago, and changed my life. It actually was where I got the fitness to do the running that I do now. In 2010, my younger brother, who's my mentor and inspiration, came to Indianapolis to run a half marathon. After two and a half years at Rock City Boxing, I said, I can do that. And so I went out and ran it, I got the bug. He came back and ran my first marathon with me in 2011. And uh, now here I am running short races. I think the long ones are some ways, some ways a little easier. But uh, they're not over soon. But it does, you have to, if you want to be a winner, you have to get something that gets you up out of bed every day and gets you going because some days are better than others. It's for all of us. And if you, if you don't, if you say you're going to take a day off, Parkinson's is going to keep coming at you. So you lose a day that way. So yeah, yeah, you have to re take time to recover. I take two days a week off from workouts because I need to recover. But uh, you always have to keep in mind that it's coming at you and it's not going to give up. You can't either. Never give up. Is there anything else on your running bucket list now? You know, I'm not a big bucket list person. Uh, I would love to do another marathon. I always said nobody does just two. It's easy enough to do one and say, this is crazy, and I'm done. But after you do two, why not do a third? Uh, I hope to be able to do that. I'm, I may not. I may. But I'm not going to stop trying. I go out and train, and whatever the training brings, I'm ready for what was it like hearing that applause coming down this final stretch? You know, I always felt like I was self-motivated, but there's nothing like the support that I've gotten from my running group, uh, Fisher's Running Club, and uh, certainly my coach, Matt Ebersole, and personal best training has made, made a huge difference. And then to come here and hear total strangers cheering me on to do the best I can, knowing that the fast guys are already done. It's incredible. It's incredible. I can't, I can't compare it to anything. How do I pronounce your last name? Gilbert. Okay. Just want to make sure we get it right. So, I, that same fitness has given me the opportunity to do other things. Okay. Uh, I was able to hike the Inca Trail in Peru two years ago this summer. That was also a, a wonderful experience. That was <coughs> to raise uh, funds and awareness for Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And uh, it was an incredible four-day journey over uh, mountain peaks and uh, just an emotional and spiritual type of a journey as well as physical.